So in this video, I wanted to do a quick comparison or line review of the Zebra Delgard mechanical pencils. I have the standard Delgard, the ER, the LX, the 2C, multi-pen, and then the GR. These range from $6 up to about $15 for the multi-pen. The LX is, you know, $12 around there. So nice range of mechanical pencils and I'll kind of run through about why you might want one or the other. These are just my uh, shorthand notes, so uh, you could probably read them off now and pause the video to see what you need to see. Now we'll move over to the pencils. So first of all, why the Delgard? So the Zebra Delgard is a set of mechanical pencils, as you probably have guessed by now, with an anti-lead breaking system. Basically what it has is it has two springs, one here and one here. And the lead is able to get pushed in if too much pressure is applied. So before it breaks, the lead compresses. So it's pretty simple mechanism. You can't test it out on your finger. It'll hurt even with a 0.7 millimeter or 0.5, whatever this is, 0.5. Uh, but that's what happens is basically the lead pushes in instead of breaking. And they tend to have this cool little sleeve here or pipe it is not retractable. So that's one of the downsides with the Delgard system, uh, but it actually works quite well. Uh, I like the Delgard, it's kind of a love it or hate it type system though, because what happens is as you're writing, the Delgard, it can push in if you're applying too much pressure. So that could give it a little bit of a spongy feel. See how that works? So you're pushing too hard, it could feel spongy and not everyone tends to like that system. I, I do and I find it very rare that you would break any lead with it, but worth keeping in mind before you buy. Okay, so now let's get into the pencils and we'll do it in uh, roughly in price order. Obviously prices are a little bit hard to estimate because they will vary a whole lot, and I lost my notes, but we will be there in one second. So first up, we have the Zebra Delgard. This one sells for about five or six dollars. It's a very simple mechanical pencil. It has a plastic grip, plastic body. The body does look to be made of brushed aluminum, but it's not. It's all plastic. Chromed plastic at the top, plastic clip. It's very simple. This one sells for maybe five or six dollars. It's the kind of entry level pen in the line. And this would be a pretty close comparison to the standard uh, Uni Kuratoga. It's usually the best comparison. The main difference is that they have different lead breaking, anti lead breaking systems. The Kuratoga has a sort of a lead spinning technology, uh, whereas it will not get sharp over time, it will spin. The Delgar doesn't have that, but it has the spring mechanism. So that is the standard Delgar, again, about $6. And I really think this is a really solid pencil. I like this one a whole lot. Next up in the line, uh, going by the standard, like the average price is the Zebra Delgar GR. Uh, the naming is a little bit confusing. So GR, just think of grip. This is the standard Delgard, just like we ran through, but it moves to a larger diameter pencil and a rubberized grip. The cone is slightly different, but the sleeve is the same or the pipe is the same, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so it's larger diameter and rubberized grip. The rest of the hardware is the same. Still have that matte body, the plastic button, plastic clip, chromed button, but you have this sort of uh, rubberized grip and the larger diameter. I find this one to be very comfortable. And if you like larger pencils, this is really one of the best options in town. Again, this one sells for about, call it nine, $10. Next up, we have the Zebra Delgard ER. And the ER is a modified version of the standard Delgard. Has a couple changes to it. Put them down next to each other. So what the ER does is it drops the clip. It uses a little plastic roll stop here. It has a rubberized grip, but at a diameter that's slightly bigger than the original, 
but not as big as the GR. So this is like kind of the full size, this is mid-size, and this is standard or small, however you want to define it. So this has a rubberized grip, it's hard rubberized, whereas this one has a little bit of give to it. Front area is the same. The, the writing, the lead system is the same on all the Delgards, as I understand it. Here we have that sort of matte, again, but it's a slightly different finish. It doesn't have that brushed aluminum feel. And then the big difference with the ER is it doesn't have an exposed eraser or button. What it has is it has this clever system where the eraser is hidden here, but when you turn it upside down, the eraser comes down and it will lock. Here you could actually erase, but if you turn it up, it hides. When it's inverted, it locks. And this is just a little piece here, and you can see how it works. It has this little cup here, when it's down, that cup locks, and then when it inverts, the cup falls, and the eraser could fall. It's pretty cool. Again, this pencil sells for about Call it about ten dollars and it's all plastic but has the rubberized grip and then has that cool eraser so that is the er I'm not sure what that stands for but it's pretty pretty cool and has that i like that auto eraser next up we have this one this is the zebra delgard lx so lx is like the luxury version and this one moves to a metal grip i'm not sure if this area right here is metal or not it might be plastic but it definitely has a metal grip and it has some extra weight compared to the other Delgards. Sizing and aesthetics are pretty close to a higher end version of the standard one. You're moving to a slightly larger pencil, but not, not really larger, like just longer. Metal grip, a nicer paint job. This is a limited edition green, but it comes in a bunch of different paint jobs, not just the green. I just actually really like this color metal collar here uh, I think this area is plastic the barrel but you do get a metal clip which I think is quite cool really well done and then you have this area right here comes off and it's just a you know little metal metal collar this sort of uh, like target looking thing it doesn't do anything that's just a cool design and then you have a standard eraser so this pencil has a little bit of extra weight to it from that metal grip, but it's very smooth. You don't get the uh, grip of something like this. This is a Kuratoga uh, roulette with the knurling. It's much more closely, much closer to this Kuratoga with the smooth grip. And uh, I'm blanking on the name of this one, but I have done a review in my Kuratoga line review. So you could check that one out. So. The LX will cost you, uh, call it like $12, $13 around there. And these are just sort of street prices, what you would find on Amazon, not the actual list price. Again, the hardware front is basically the same, slightly, slightly modified from the other ones, uh, but the LX most closely resembles the standard model. It just has a little bit of extra length, the metal parts, and then obviously it's contoured like the original, which is quite cool. One of the interesting things about the original, it's the only one where you could really get a good look at all the hardware. It does sell in some opaque versions, but I really like it in this sort of smoky version. Last up, the most expensive of the bunch, selling for about $15, is this one, the Zebra Delgard Plus 2C, or sometimes they'll just call it the 2C. And this is a multi-pen version of the Delgard. It's most closely related to the GR, which has the full width uh, of a pen pencil like the GR, but it kind of makes more sense because it is a multi-pen. Usually these will come in a larger diameter so you could fit all the hardware in there. The 2C moves to a, kind of a blunt looking barrel. It has a rubberized grip, but no give at all. So it's uh, similar to the ER there with the contours of the LX and the standard. Then we have a plastic barrel, and then we have the system here for the multi-pen system. We have black ink, red ink, mechanical. So it's a two plus one. 
Up top here, we have a button similar to the LX and then your little standard eraser. And to work it, you just push this down and then to put it back. Pretty simple system. For the pencil, you would push it down and then keep pushing to extend the lead. So pretty standard mechanism there. It is on the larger side. Check it out next to the original. It is gigantic compared to the original. Full diameter. But one of the cool things about it is it uses Zebra's emulsion ink. So uh, Zebra has some really nice uh, emulsion type ink. That's their sort of uh, hybrid type ink that we've talked about a few times. So you do get those EK.7 refills, which are quite nice. And let's show those off for a second. So this is the Delgard 2C. And that's the black emulsion, the red emulsion, and of course, all the pencils write the same. They'll have the same lead system. Uh, these are all actually, I bought them all in 0.5 millimeter. Some of them you would see, like the LX would be more common to see in a 0.7, uh, sorry, a 0.3 millimeter, but uh, they all sell in 0.5. All the Delgards come with like pretty cool looking material just showing on the front kind of the one you bought, but on the back, they have a pretty good explanation of kind of what you bought into. So all of them say, obviously, the upward force and lead, the vertical pressure and force leads to it. So this is the two ways that the anti-lead breaking system works. One is uh, directly, the other is diagonally, or, you know, with an angled force, the nose piece will push forward. And you can see that there, the nose piece pushes forward. So quite cool. Uh, and then they kind of just explain on the, in number two, what's happening with that specific model. So this is the GR. The GR is the grip version. And here you get a, uh, that you could hold firmly with little effort. So less fatigue because you have the wider grip area. So I think that pretty much covers the Zebra Delgard line. So we have the 2C, the GR, LX, ER, and the standard one. So now when it comes down to spending your money, what should you go with? So personally, I would say ditch the ER. It has some cool features, but they're just interesting quirks. There's really not too much there. Uh, I don't really like the 2C. Uh, as far as multi-pens go, it's just not really my favorite. It is one of the best pencil multi-pens, which you have the Delgar technology, whereas most multi-pens have no anti-lead breaking system, but I just don't really like this as a multi-pen. So these are the best of the bunch, the standard one, the LX, and the GR. The GR, to me, is more of a specialty pencil. If you want the kind of larger diameter or the grip, then this is essentially the same thing as buying the standard one. For me, uh, I'm not using pencils for long enough periods of time that I need the GR. So I would say these two are my picks. The LX is just a really nice pencil and uh, writes great. I really like this green. This might be hard to find, I'm not really sure, but I really like that it has the weight down the bottom. So it gives me a little bit of extra control by having a lower center of gravity. That said, I really think most people will be best served just getting the standard $6 Delgard. It's a nice writer, it's a good size, it's a really good alternative to the Kuratoga if that's not the perfect pencil for you. Uh, the LX is cool, but it's totally not necessary. They say it in the name, it is the luxury version. There's nothing better about it except for that lower center of gravity, which again, not everyone loves. So if you want a Delgard, I would say go ahead and pick up a standard one and then if you love it, maybe invest in something a little bit higher end, but this is just a really nice pencil. I like this system and uh, hopefully this helps you make your decision. So thanks for watching.